Hello everyone, it's me Tiffany and today I'm here to show you my most recent completed sketchbook. Uh, this covers February of 2017 through uh, almost the end of May of this year. Um, I covered it with a few just little fun stickers and washi tape just to cover up the boring background. But anyways, let's get to the good stuff. <laughs> So, for those of you who don't play games, this is a character from Final Fantasy IX. He is one of my absolute favorite game characters ever. This is a drawing, there's kind of a joke at my old work where we were unicorns. So I drew my boss and coworker and myself as a unicorns, well, people wearing unicorn costumes. And then I drew this little unicorn to go with it. Um, I did an ear study and wrote a quote to go with it, doing some color testing, and I found this picture that showed what your body looks like uh, when you're in love, so like the heat temperatures and everything, and I had to say I really like how it turned out. This is just some sketches for, here, let me tell, there we go, some sketch ideas for another project that's further in here. And then I was just messing around with some Mario things. Um, a little bit of pop art. It was a uh, prompt. And here are three superhero women. Batgirl, Wonder Woman, and... Um, oh no, the Black Canary, if, if I remember right. Okay, here's a picture of Rainbow Bright as a teenager maybe young adult and then Lady Lovely Locks, Strawberry Shortcake and Rainbow Bright as babies. The prompt for this was to draw a blind cat and I really didn't know how to go about doing that. So I went with this kind of ninja cat and he's got his eyes covered and you can see um, where his eyes should be. More practices for another drawing later on. And then a friend of mine challenged me to draw an Aegisus, which is a Pegasus in an egg. And the completed of this is in a different sketchbook. Some mercats, just messing around with colors, trying to get a full moon and a gem. This is Mermaid from 2017. Um, I followed the prompts. And I did, you know, some, like, uh, colors if I were to actually color it in. I chose not to color in any of the images from this mermaid. I didn't even ink them. Um, I honestly wasn't even sure I was going to be able to complete it. So this guy I liked so much that I actually redrew him in a different, larger sketchbook. A hipster, human mermaid, or mermaid transforming into a human, I guess. <laughs> He's probably one of my favorites. Um, let's see. This one is also another favorite of mine. As is this one. So, there's a few that I really, really liked. And I may redraw them. Uh, this I was just messing around with some nautical themed ideas and this is an idea for a tattoo that I really want to get. Um, my parents are like my anchor and I'm the lotus flower, you know, trying to grow out of the muck. Um, so I really want an anchor holding the lotus flower surrounded by the quote that says, and the, uh, and the chaos within me found balance. Just a random sketch of one of my uh, pencil cases and what was inside. One of my style challenges, this is my style, Tim Burton, Disney, and Sailor Moon. Um, I discovered that January was ultraviolet color month. So I drew, I made a challenge for myself to draw, you know, purple things. This mermaid is actually from right here. And I turned it into an amulet. This was a scenery mask. 
this is a sketch practice for another page that's coming up. Um, the graffiti behind this grenade says uh, demolish, so it's demolish hate. I really am happy with how this grenade turned out. Here's that drawing with that those little symbols were for. Um, let's see, this just magical girl wand ideas and there's the completed woman in a dream pool. Some Dr. Seuss inspired drawings and an alien woman. This is from the Cute But Deadly uh, game inspired figures. I actually have this figure and I really love her so I drew that. I was watching Doodle Date if I remember right and it was live and um, they had this challenge of drawing sausages is sausage Sona and <laughs> this is what I came up with a wiener dog with a wiener nose. <laughs> Here's another style challenge. Um, my style Powerpuff Girls Camila de Erico and Gravity Falls. Um, this I honestly I'm I'm not a hundred percent thrilled with how it turned out. Um, if I did it again, there's quite a bit I would change, but overall I like it. Um, it just it doesn't look like it has depth in it. You can tell the things are just drawn on there. Uh, I decided to redraw an old drawing of mine from March of 2013. Um, she looks better than she did before, but not as great as it could have been. Here I was trying to draw um, a YouTuber named Jack Jack. Love her videos. If you haven't watched her, you should. Um, but she made this really adorable face, and I was trying to draw it. And I just I couldn't get the eyes right. I couldn't get the lip right. Um, they turned out pretty good here, but then it just went down the tube, <laughs> so I, I gave up on it. Um, and I decided to practice drawing lips and hands. This is an old tattoo idea that I had that I never got, but I decided to redraw it. Here I was testing out my new Arteza markers that I had gotten. This is another redraw. Um, from an old drawing of the Tin Man's Daughter. And this is the list for Mermaid of 2018. Um, the first one is in my bigger book, so this starts out at May 2nd. And some of them I inked and some of them I colored in. Um, really happy with this one. And this one I included two days together. Jellyfish and Narwhal were the prompts, so I put them together. Honestly, this one, I, I couldn't decide what to do. The two different prompts were Wanderer and Moon, and I just, that's what I came up with. An octopus mermaid. And I know it's because I don't have her upright and the, limb, or the tentacles are right there, but she looks so wrong with her proportions because of that. Um, but otherwise she actually looks pretty cool. Here I decided to just uh, do some painting and have some fun. It's an albino mermaid over here. My friend told me I should draw a turtle because it was National Turtle Month or something like that. So I drew these two characters together. And the prompt here was Storm, and I really couldn't think of what to do until I decided to turn Storm from the X-Men into a mermaid. Um, this was Behemoth, Behemoth. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. And actually, I had a lot of fun drawing him. Um, yeah, I don't draw male figures very often, so it was cool to do that. This is probably my absolute favorite of the mermaid for this year. Um, it was shark was the prompt and I decided to do a hammerhead. So a little hammerhead baby shark and then of a different kind. And then this one here and her eyes are on this side. 
And it took me a while to decide if I wanted her eyes up front here or on the side like the hammerhead. Um, I'm glad I went with the sides like an actual shark. Just messing around drawing. Um, <laughs> really didn't know what to do with the mushroom prompt, so I kind of went a little fun with it. Here I started a drawing and it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. I messed up on the tail, so I redrew it here. Another favorite. I really like how she turned out. And then I decided to draw kind of a steampunk ish styled girl. Um, <laughs> frustration was the prompt for this and I was like well if she had crab hands she'd probably be pretty frustrated trying to put on her bra. This one was western and last but not least in this book is the gothic mermaid. So there you have it that is the completed book um, and I have started on a new one. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you have a wonderfully blessed day.